Hello there and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy. The show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily synchronize your presets and other assets between your Skylum account and the Luminar Neo software. Skylum recently added a new feature into Luminar Neo, allowing you to synchronize assets purchased in Skylum's Marketplace and Luminar Plus membership. All of this without the need of downloading them in a zip format and importing them manually. From now, you will be able to purchase your assets on Skylum website or choose them as a part of your Luminar Plus membership and import them into the application with one simple click. To make this feature work, we will need two things. Internet connection and active Skylum account. You will need to make sure that you are logging into the same account in your software and also the Skylum website. So first of all, let's start by checking what account we use in Luminar Neo. As you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo and we can start. The first way to find out what account you're using is to simply take your mouse and drag it all the way to the top of your screen. Once you do that, a new toolbar will appear. Here you simply click on account and the very first option is the account you're using. For me, it's the Jacob Bors. Here, if it's a wrong account, you can click on sign out and login with the account you want to use. However, most likely this is the right account and all you need to do here is to click on your name and that will bring you directly into the Skylum website. Before we're going to continue, let's go back to Luminar Neo, where I want to show you a second way of how we can find out what account we're using. For this, this time we're going to go to the top right corner of the screen, click on Extras, and then once the extension window will open, you will see that in the top right corner, there will be an icon with your profile. Once you click on that, the same thing will happen again, you will be directed into the Skylum website and here we can log in. You can use one of the methods here like Facebook, Google, Microsoft or Apple or you can use your email. After you log into your account, you will see that your profile picture will appear on the top right corner of the screen. When you click on a little white arrow there, there are some options you can choose to navigate around your account. You can find the same options on the left side of your screen. As you can see, you have the My Software, My Add-ons, X Membership and so on. For us, we're going to start by clicking on X Membership and if you're part of it, then you will be interested in the following part where I'm going to show you how you can synchronize your X Membership assets between the website and your software. Traditionally, what you would do, you would look at the new assets and simply click on the little blue button here to download it to your computer. Looking at it, you can see that this month you will be getting soft beige assets created by us, the clever photographer, and also the dramatic sunset skies captured by me. Now you can still download the assets here. However, with this new update, you can do it directly in the application. So let's move back to the Luminar Neo. Once we're back in Luminar Neo, all we need to do is to go back to the top right corner of our screen and click on Extras. This will open a window where traditionally we import new extension. However, as you're going to notice, now this option has two more buttons. 
Marketplace and X Membership. In the X Membership, you will notice the preview of the new assets sorted by month. Just like we saw at the website, now in the April you can see the soft dash presets and dramatic sunset skies. Here all you need to do is to click on the little install icon and it will take a few seconds and they will be downloaded and added to your application. So let's go ahead and also add the skies. And again, once they installed, we will be prompt with the installed message. To check if we have the assets in the application, we need to close this window and let's start by looking at the preset. For this, we need to click on the presets on the top of our screen and then navigate to our main toolbar. Here you will notice the X membership button. So click on that and that will open the library of your X membership product. You can see that the soft dash presets are here. So just click on them and just like always, they will start to prepare the previews and when they're ready, you can just hover over them and apply them to the image when you're ready. The second thing we have imported were the skies. So let's select an image with the sky on it and then move it into edit module once again with the use of an edit button on the top of your screen. Here we're going to be checking the skies. So we need to go into our main toolbar then creative section and the sky AI tool. Click on it to open it and then click on the sky selection button to preview the sky library. Once again, we need to click on a gray drop down box and here navigate through the list to see the X membership skies on the top of it. Once you find it, you just click on it and it will show you all the skies that come with the X membership. Let's say that we start with the first one, we just click on it and now the application will scan the image and apply the sky replacement. Of course that this is just an example, we can try a different skies if we want to. However, as you can see, the skies are here and they are ready to be used. Now before we go going to continue, I want to quickly mention that this video is powered by our Luminar Neo Spring Bundle. The Spring Bundle offers over 910 new Spring elements to power up your favorite Luminar Neo tools. Get it and get extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, LUTs and presets, which all of them will help you to transform your images with just a few clicks. To get the best possible price, follow the link in the description of this video or find out more about it on our website cleverphotographer.com. Now the second thing I want to show you is how you can synchronize the assets that you purchase at Skyland website directly with Luminar Neo, the same way we have just done it with the X membership. When we arrive to the Skyland website, we can head directly into the marketplace. At the marketplace, you can see that there is all sorts of assets here skies, presets, LUTs, overlays, textures, and so much more. At this moment, the feature of synchronizing the assets only works for presets. However, we will soon see the arrival of skies, overlays, and textures too. But knowing that it only works for presets, we will buy one of the presets here. So let's just click on presets. When we filter the presets, we can go through them and see which one we like the best. For me, I like the European travels, so let's click on them. And then here we can simply click on add to cart. It takes a moment and they will appear in our cart. So let's click on the cart here and right away click on secure checkout. A payment window will open and you start by adding an email. The email needs to be the same one you're using for your Luminar account. Once you add your email, you fill in your payment details and click on pay. Once you purchase the presets, you will get the thank you message and you can now just click on continue. When you finish with the purchase, you can now click on your profile photo in the top right corner of the screen. Here select my add-ons. That will bring you to your account 
And looking at the top of the list, you can see the presets we have just purchased. If you want, you can still get them from here by clicking on the download button. However, for us, we will go back into Luminar Neo and then in Luminar Neo, again go to the top right corner of your screen, click on Extras, and this time we're gonna click on Marketplace. Looking at the list here, starting from the top, you can see that we have the presets, then also the skies, LUTs, and overlay. So the skies, LUTs, and overlays will arrive later, so for now we can add the preset. Now when we scroll down through the list, you will see our European travels. Hovering over it, you will see the option of view and install. For us, all we need to do is to click on the install button. It only takes a moment and then the application will install the presets into the presets module. Let's close this again and go back into presets module. Here, this time we need to navigate into the purchase and on the top of it, you can see the new collection we have just purchased, the European Travels. Let's just click on it. And just like before, it takes a moment for the application to prepare the previews. And then you can start using the presets on all of your images. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website, cloudphotographer.com slash Luminar Gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment, and share on this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.